Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to build my completely hidden bed bomb that uses absolutely no pistons and or butt switches. Now up on the screen, I have one of my older bed bombs to the right and then my newer completely hidden bed bomb to the left hand side. Now I'm sure many of you have noticed already, one of them has something underneath it. Now how many of bed bombs worked in the past where there would be a piston underneath the bed bomb, so once you slept in the bed, the piston would activate, thus activating the TNT underneath it, and would blow up, kill, or mutilate one of your friends inside of your world. However, that is no longer the case. I have built a completely hidden one that uses absolutely no pistons, so even the most experienced players might not notice that there is a bomb there. So if your friend is new to Minecraft, you could probably get away with killing him with this one. However, if you have a more experienced player, I'm sure if they see something underneath their bed, they're not going to get inside of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to survival, and we're gonna get inside this bed and show you how it works. The game is now on survival, and it is also nighttime, and I almost forgot to mention, this is an instant bomb so once someone sleeps inside of it it's automatically going to blow up all you're going to hear is a dispenser sound and death waiting for you so you don't hear tnt going off so they won't get out of the bed and try to get away from the bed bomb once you sleep inside this thing you are automatically going to die so once i get in here i'm going to be a dead moose so here we go i'm gonna get inside the bed bomb i'm kind of scared but we're gonna get inside the bed bomb and there we go see i blew oh my god i went so high up into the air so here's an open view of the hidden bed bomb and as you can see by the redstone this thing is extremely easy to build now how this thing works is we have a minecart inside of the wall right here so once i sleep inside of this bed the hitbox on my character will push this minecart just a little bit thus hitting into this one which will then scoot along our powered rail into our detector rail activating our dispenser down here that has flint and steel which will activate our tnt inside of a minecart and we are going to have a bad time so i'm just going to quickly demonstrate so once we sleep in the bed it will hit this minecart so boop it will go over activating the tnt and blowing up the bed so let's go ahead and start building this thing now i'll normally give the dimensions for my builds however this one is a very simple one so just get a bed next to the wall now the resources you're going to need for this build are one piston one dispenser four redstone one lever two minecarts minecarts with tnt four rails two powered rails one detector rail one flint and steel one bed once you have gathered your resources we can go ahead and start building this thing so right behind your bed break this block and then come out two blocks and place in your powered rail so come out two blocks one two place in two powered rails like this and then place a minecart on top of the powered rail next what we're going to do is gently push this minecart until we could see part of the bed frame through the minecart do not go crazy and go like this and hit it right away just hit it back up hit it back up hit it back up make sure you don't go crazy just hit it and back up hit it back up so now i can see my bed frame through the minecart that means we did it right next place a block right above your minecart come up two blocks from this one one two break the block in the middle put a piston facing downwards into your walling block put a lever on top of this block right here and send power to your piston so boop it will push the block inside the minecart and now go ahead and collect your lever and your piston we are going to need those for later so make sure you collect your lever and your piston then right behind the minecart we're going to place another minecart right here and push this one into that minecart right there so you can go ahead and go crazy with this one it doesn't matter just make sure it is touching the other minecart like that now this is the hardest part of the build you can mess up here if you don't do it right then this build will not work what we're going to do is gently tap this minecart into the wall so we can no longer see it don't go crazy you don't go right into it and then stand there because if you push it too far then when we go to sleep our hitbox won't be able to reach this minecart thus activating the bed bomb so go ahead and hit it and then back up real fast and wait a little bit because sometimes it takes a little while for it to update the minecart so as you can see it got pushed into the wall a little bit and we're going to do it again so just hit it and back up real fast wait a little bit make sure it goes anywhere and nothing happened okay so hit it and back up wait a little tiny bit there you see it went in again and what we're going to do is just make sure you cannot see the minecart so hit it and back up and nope still nothing so boop boop there we go we can no longer see the mine now if we come to the back area it should look something like this as you can see the mine carts are kind of phased into each other just a tiny bit if it does not look like this then it's probably not going to work so once you know everything looks good like this we're going to go ahead and break this block right here and then break the block underneath this mine cart like so next we're going to take out our blocks once again and place a block right underneath it place your block back over here make sure you collect that power rail if you are on survival you don't want to lose that power rail place a normal rail right here and then take out your piston once again and place your piston going into the normal rail like this then go ahead and put a lever right here and activate your piston so now that normal rail is underneath your minecart so now as you can see you cannot see the minecart here and we have a normal rail underneath it then over here at the end we're going to place in our detector rail 
this is what's going to be activating our bomb so now we can go ahead and set up our bomb so come right over here to the left hand side and we're going to dig down three blocks next to these rails so one two three one two three one two three make sure you do not touch these mine carts if you touch them in any way it might destroy the build and then i'm gonna just do it one more time just so we could see everything so one two three one two three one two three also make sure you do not break the block right underneath this mine cart because it will also ruin the build then right underneath all of your rails break out these three blocks one two three and place redstone dust on top of all of them then we're going to break out one more block over here and then break these two one two and place a dispenser facing forward this way towards your bed then going inside this dispenser we're going to place in our flint and steel and then over here we're going to break this block break this block and place in three regular rails once your three regular rails are in and it should look something like this break this one right here and break this one right here and place in blocks like so one here and one here now this is completely up to you the more minecart with tnt you add here the bigger the explosion is going to be so i think you need around like three or four to kill someone but i i like putting a lot more in there because i'm evil so i'm gonna place in about eight i guess so one then look right here in the corner of your rail and place in more so two as long as you can see the hitbox of your rail you should be fine so two three four five six seven and eight so once you feel you have gotten enough minecart with tnt go ahead and break the rail by hitting it like this and then we're going to place a block right here so we do not touch the minecarts with tnt because if they go everywhere then everything is going to explode so we're going to place a block right here and a block right here now there's only one last thing we have to do and that is to send power to this powered rail so go ahead and take out your lever put it right next to your power rail and flip it on so now what we can do is go ahead and clean up this entire area make sure you do not touch these minecarts whatsoever and now i'm going to go ahead and switch it to nighttime just to show you that everything is working and i am back i switched it to nighttime and i decided to keep it on creative because i really didn't feel like dying again now the only way this will not work is if you pushed this minecart too far over as long as you didn't push the minecart too far over you will be absolutely fine so once i get inside of this bed i'm going to explode go flying up into the air i won't die because i'm on creative but i'm going to be a burnt moose so get inside the bed and kaboom oh i didn't go flying i guess since i'm on creative and didn't die you don't go flying but as you can see everything worked i'll do it again over here as well just to show you again so get inside the bed everything will explode and let's do it one more time over here as well get inside the bed everything will explode and we will die once again so there you guys have it that is how you build my completely hidden bed bomb if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace